Hey and welcome back to All My Love Zoe. It's very good to have you with me once again. This is where we discuss food, fashion and beauty for the time and budget poor. So if that sounds like something you'll be interested in, then please do go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. It'd be good to have you with me every single time. Now today we are back in my kitchen because it occurred to me that we haven't actually done a food video for a really long time. And I wanted to show you how to make Danish pastries. They're really, really quick and easy and well, they're just delicious. Now I say they're really easy because I'm not making my own puff pastry. I did sheet and by the ready-made puff pastry sheet. The rest of the ingredients are store cupboard ingredients so you could have Danish pastries with your coffee in next to no time at all. So if you'd like to see how I make these and how quick and simple they are then do stick around. So first off you need to preheat your oven to 180 degrees and line a baking tray with some grease proof paper. So we have 50 grams of sugar and 50 grams of almonds. Now I actually already had ground almonds and I don't think it matters because they're just going to be ground up even more. So we'll just try. You just want to grind the sugar and the almonds together until you have something that resembles a milled powder. You then want to take 50 grams of unsalted butter that's been left at room temperature for a while so it's slightly softened. You just want to add the butter to the almonds and the sugar and mix that very well until you have a paste-like consistency. Then I'm going to take the pastry and unroll that out onto the lightly floured surface. I'm then going to cut the sheet into six pieces. Next you want to take the paste that you made with the almond, sugar and butter and place an even amount on the middle of each of the six squares. You want to cut from the corner of each square into the centre. Fold alternate corners of each pastry square into the middle and gently press down. Brush the pastry with beaten egg. Take a tin of fresh peach halves and drain. Place each peach half on top of the almond paste in the middle of each square. Place the baking trays into the oven for around 20 to 25 minutes or until golden and puffed up. Whilst that's baking, take 30 grams of apricot jam and one teaspoon of hot water and mix well. Once the pastries have turned golden and puffed up, remove them from the oven and whilst they're still hot, brush them with the jam mixture. Then place onto a cooling rack and leave to cool before serving. As always, when it comes to food, the proof is really in the tasting. And I cannot wait to taste this. It smells so good. Mmm. Oh, that is delicious. It's so nice. The sweetness of the sort of marzipan mixture with the, the creaminess of the pastry and the peach just works so well together. I think once you try these, you will never want shop-bought pastries again. These are really good. Mm. As you can see, these Danish pastries are really quick and easy to make and they taste so good. Another great thing when it comes to these Danish pastries is you can experiment when it comes to the flavors from strawberries and custard to glazed pears and cream cheese. I would love to hear from you if you do make these or likewise if you make these and swap out the flavors for other things. It'd be great to know how you get on and what you thought. Please do let me know in the comments section below. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do give me the thumbs up. And if you don't already subscribe, hit the subscribe button down below and tick the notification box so you never miss a future video. It'd be good to have you with me every single time. If you'd like to see a bit more, why not follow me over on Instagram, which I will link just there. Well, until next week, take care. Bye.